Today, I have with me Anil Madan, the Corporate Vice President of Cloud and Data at Walmart Global Tech, you know, managing a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, you call it, right? And data platforms. You know, what is the most significant uh, transition that's happened over the last 10 years, say? Yeah, so look, I mean, we are in this whole, what I would say, generations of trans transitions which are going on. I mean, you look at a decade back, there was a lot of push to get out of on-prem infrastructures to cloud. So the whole cloud revolution of how you scale for, for your customers. I think in the last, what I would say, five to 10 years, there's been a huge push to digital. And now what we are seeing is this huge fascinating piece coming in where the cusp of all of these with generative AI is again going, transforming how we go interact with, with devices and on digital. And uh, generative AI in general is now creating a big push internally within Walmart of how we think about customer experiences and our associate and member experiences. Multi-cloud and data, I mean, there's a lot of transformation which has happened in the data and how we deal with data, how we process data, how we capture data. The advent of big data with the advent of new, faster ways of processing, streaming platforms, how we deal with incremental updating of, of capturing and transforming data and then feeding that back quickly into making intelligent decisions is something which the big data revolution has disrupted the industry. And we are at the forefront of adopting those in the cloud at the scale for Fortune One. Okay. So the, the technology with both the cloud and data coming together in a powerful way is helping us you know, create that, that experiences for, for which never was not thought possible about a decade back. Hybrid multi-cloud, what do you mean by that? And data platforms together. You gave us a foundational experience or knowledge of what happens in the store to the customer. But in the back end is this hybrid cloud environment. Yeah. Explain that to me for the benefit of the audience. Yeah, so all of this is powered by a huge, what we call as a distributed cloud internally. And the distributed cloud basically is a combination of uh, a triplet model which we have created. Now the triplet model, largely what that means is we get these public cloud providers and our own private cloud, start working them as a triplet with two public cloud providers and one private cloud where a three-legged stool comes together, right, to create these amazing experiences. Now what that helps is you now start looking at best of innovation across both cloud provided, public cloud provided, as well as open source and connecting them at scale for Fortune One to both, both for innovation as well as cost. Anil, there's a blurring of lines between in-person, you know, offline experiences to online experiences. You know, how's that changing customer experience at Walmart? At the end of the day, first, let me explain what the experience is. When you say the word experiences, what do we internally mean? It means our e-commerce and our store experiences, retail experiences, so customer going into, into the store or into the club. It includes our fulfillment centers and distribution centers. Like fulfillment centers come in play if you order online. Distribution centers is all about making sure our retail and our clubs are, are constantly replenished. And then it includes all our last mile and our supply chain. What that also means is, you know, how are we going fulfilling these orders? So when we talk about experiences, first of all, we're talking about several personas here, not only the customer or the member, but also our associates in our fulfillment centers and distribution centers. And last but not least, the drivers, which eventually go fulfill items for our back to our customers and members. So that's really what we call as the end-to-end -end experiences. Now, how we are translating that into with technology is what we've done is we've built one of the largest multi-hybrid cloud. And what that internally means is we've taken what we call as a triplet model, where we have two vendor provided and one private cloud coming in conjunction, in close harmony, in, let's say for US, which is east, west, and central uh, uh, locations to power these. And then you have all of these edges as edge cloud, what we call as, which are our in, -sto in stores and our clubs, which are closely connected with these regional clouds. So you have these triplets, which are regional clouds. And then you have 5,000 of these locations in store and uh, in, in US 
another 6,000 internationally, which are these edge clouds. This creates like a huge distributed cloud for us. And then that makes sure that every part of our technology now has to solve with that complexity and that fabric. Now I want to talk about operational excellence in the cloud and data platforms, of course. With data comes many challenges. And senior leaders and your engineering team, of course, has to stay, you know, not only, I mean, ahead of things, but also manage that operational excellence that Walmart Global Tech is used to. Uh, what would be that operational outcome or operational process that makes makes Walmart the fortune one it is? Yeah. Look, I mean, to power these immersive and these generative experiences, right, we internally have a lot of focus on operational excellence. And what we internally call as the operational, the brilliance in the basics. What that means is you only earn the right to build those experiences if you can operationally have the rigor to run your systems at scale. What that means internally is how are you looking at observability across all your systems? When a customer is transacting and it's going through these myriad maze of public, private clouds, data, can you stitch the customer activity quickly to truly understand what services are coming in play? How is those services performing? What is the availability of those services? Are those up? What is the uh, mean time to, what is the, uh, uh, latency and response time associated with each request coming in so that we, we measure performance, we measure latency. Accompanied with all this is all the focus on things like security, data privacy. I mean, the customer would not tell us that like, hey, it's not an explicit thing that, uh, you know, keep my data secured or, or make sure you adhere to my privacy, uh, respect my privacy. So all of those are what we call as the non-functional requirements and what we internally then call as the, to be brilliant at the basics. Now I have to talk about GenAI and its application from a, from a Walmart global perspective. Can this be applied globally as well? Yes, so what we are doing, like since you alluded towards technology which powers mm -hmm. this, what we're doing is we're taking a platform-based approach in how we have, how we have, uh, uh, how we're gonna be leveraging and scaling this. Because, you know, suddenly this can become extremely expensive if not done right. We have built in the last few years a highly robust platform called Element. What we're doing is taking Element platform and enhancing that with generative AI, where it's taking a lot of what's happening in the open source and cloud provided, as I said, bringing that together in a highly abstracted way where teams can leverage that platform and get all the goodness. And what are things which are already provided to you in that? Things like compliance, things like privacy, things like ethics. All of those things are actually model inside so that we can do this right for our customers. This is phenomenal. Now, if you apply this, then Gen AI, a lot of people also talk about transparency, accountability, security, fairness, customer centricity, right, and privacy, yeah. important things. Let's start off with transparency. What, what, what do these things mean to you? Yeah, so look, these are all part of larger piece of responsible AI, right? I mean, you, at the end of the day, uh, technology, if not used right, could, could also harm our customers. So what we, I mean, we are, while we're customer backed, we also are, are led through our Walmart values. And those go back and highly intersect with making sure that the responsible AI is, is being applied in, in how we build technology and how we serve our customers with that technology. So we recently, last month, announced the responsible AI pledge to the industry. This was preemptively even a month earlier than the recent one with Joe Biden, uh, our president launched in the US. So we are ahead in the game where we Understand, look, our customers are at the forefront and all the values you described are adhered in how we build and how we serve our customers.